and welcome to another episode of I Do Things in My Kitchen. Today we're tackling this and unboxing this beautiful package over here. And these, if you know, you know. Okay, here's my cabinet. Here's what it looks like. It's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, but it's not organized. That's that's for dang sure. And it stresses me out anytime I have to get anything because things fall on me and I don't like things falling on me. And we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it with these. I spent $225 on all of these. I know, I know it's a lot, but it's okay because I got most of them on sale in the little bundles. So it was $450 in my Amazon cart before this. So you should be proud of me. I'm not doing this alone. I have help. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get in. You gotta, come on, you get, all of you know Rachel. Oh, come on. But uh, yeah, she's gonna help me turn all of this into this somehow. So we've got labels and we're gonna put them on the boxes and then we're gonna put the things in the boxes and then stack them in the cabinet. So here we go. Okay, so first things first, I guess we have to wash all of them. That's not gonna be the fun part. Hold on, hold on. Are they dishwasher safe? Cause uh, I might just put them all in there. Dishwasher safe. Heck yeah. Okay, my dishwasher's full. All right, I'm pretty sure you have to wash these on the top rack anyway, so we're just gonna see how many we can fit. Order 500 bins, it'll be great. So fun. I didn't order 500. You wanna help me take these out of the box? Not really. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. Ooh, this is the part that attaches for the brown sugar so it doesn't get old, stiff, hard, gross. Gross. Sure. What are you? <gasps> it comes with scoop. Ooh. I meant to do that. All these lids are interchangeable. That's glorious. That that right there makes this all worth it. This is for like baking soda and tea and other small things that come in small boxes. Baking powder. Oh, this is filling up fast. You really need that many? Well, they come in a bundle. It was cheaper to buy them this way. Excuse me, Daisy, can I help you, ma'am? These aren't for you. I know this is also what your treat container looks like, but this is not a jumbo treat container. Well, now you said treat. I did say the word, I did. Well, no, this isn't what, it, no. I take back, sees everything I just said. Oh. That's a tall boy. I don't know yet. I think pasta, spaghetti noodles, as you can see on the box. Made for pasta. Oh, these are great shipping boxes. If you say I'm starting to sound like mom, I swear. Get in there. All right, now hopefully none of those warp or shrink like some of the other containers that I got. They say dishwasher safe. I, let's not desanitize. Okay, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Okay, A cycle, normal. What'd I do? Stop. Okay, we're just gonna give it a minute. We're gonna give them, everything's locked up now. Everything's trapped, it's in prison. We don't wanna do a high temp wash and we don't wanna do a sanitize because that will increase the potential for these to warp. That would be bad. That'd be very bad. Excuse me. Turn on. Okay. Not a high temp watch. Not a sanitize. Express. Start. Okay, now go. Look at that. All right, we'll be back in like an hour. Hold on. Ta-da! Everything's dry. Okay, now I have to take everything out of there, put it in these, and then put it back in there. I also got these waterproof dishwasher safe labels so that when I do need to refill them, I don't have to redo the label sticky part, which could also be bad because if I mess up writing on them, they're stuck there forever, but it's okay. It's okay. They're easy to peel off as well. So they say you can print on them. No, no. They are designed to be used with erasable chalk markers or permanent markers. Hmm. Okay. I think first things first, I need to take everything down. Daisy, if you're not gonna help, you don't get to make commentary. I hand you, you place over there. 
Look at how fast this is going. Oh, that's heavy. This is the first thing that's bad in my cabinet. Well, they're not even bad, they're marshmallows. Marshmallows don't go bad, but I don't think we need to keep them. Jordan, why do you have four types of flour? I don't know, because I bake a lot now. Second thing that's bad. It's not really even bad, it's just really old and I never used it. All right, the rest of this doesn't get put in containers. You guys, Eek. oh man. Nothing happened. Oh, we did have vinegar. A lot of vinegar. <laughs> Olive oil. Canola oil. Coconut oil. Why do you have so many oils? I honestly don't know. Okay, now we put flour in here. I'll put it over here. Oh yeah, put it over the floor so that you have to sweep. Yeah, it's easier than it getting in another bin as I'm trying to clean things. Is it? So the reason I wanted these containers is because of this right here. Look at that. Daisy, I can't help but notice you're in the kitchen. Thank you, good girl. First label, here we go. We're gonna write, we're gonna not mess it up. This is Bread, flour, is it just, I'm just gonna put gold metal. Oh no. All right. First guy going up here. Ta -da! Whole wheat, bread flour. King. Oh man, this is gonna be the most difficult part is getting these stickers on in the same spot on all of them. Oh, I almost missed. Oh, I'm not tall. All right. All purpose. Flour. Did I put the bread? Okay, I did put flour on the rest of those. Now I'm going crazy. Oh, I smudged it. I smudged it. It's fine, it's fine. Whee. And of course we have pizza dough flour. Never mind, this is expired. This is the oldest one that I've had and I'm gonna go get another one. So I'm gonna leave that container. Now, I don't think this is as many ounces. This is only 48 ounces and these are all five pound bags. So this is a three pound bag. It can fit in a smaller one. This is the five pound bag. So I'm going to use another big one for sugar or rice. Oh man, the rice is four pounds. The flour is four pounds. Nope, the rice is five pounds. Rice it is. Whee! Your dog's gonna get into that. No, she won't. Daisy, don't get into that immediately after I say you're not going to. Okay. No bubbles, no bubbles, no bubbles. All right. Now my idea was that all of my cooking and baking stuff is gonna go up there and then all of my all of my baking stuff is gonna go up there. All of my cooking stuff is gonna go on here. That's, that's what I meant to say. Okay, oh wait, I didn't put all-purpose flour up there. Flour! I think powdered sugar can go in this guy. That's my idea here. Golden brown sugar can go in this guy. Yep, okay, um, I'm liking the way this is going. Uh, sugar can go in this guy? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Oh, we have more brown sugar. Let's do brown sugar first. Because I'm pretty sure I have too much. I may have misjudged the sizes that I need. It's okay. It's okay. We're not at the line yet. We're not at the line yet. I do have a container on my counter and I'm going to cheat and put the rest of this in there. And I know you're supposed to put the first in, first out. It's okay. There was nothing in it before. I had to clean it out because it was empty. Now we take our little lid. And the other thing I like about these containers is there's different things you can put on the top. This one is a terracotta little pot that you snap on the top to keep your brown sugar. Hold please. 
to keep your brown sugar dry. Label, label. Brown sugar. I mean, really the only ones that need labels is the flour. Cause I need to know the difference between them. I can definitely tell this is brown sugar, but it's fine. We like the labels, the labels are nice. The labels do make it pretty, except when my handwriting is terrible. Next up we have powdered sugar. Oh, it's also very messy. Yeah. Did you know that powdered sugar is just regular sugar put in a blender and ground down to a fine powder? Food processor. And look how nicely they stack. That's the other reason I wanted these ones is they stack really easily and they're really easy to open. Okay, let's do regular sugar. I think regular sugar is gonna fit in here. Yeah, I think I needed a bigger, it's okay, it's okay. Because I also have a container. Ah! That's for quick access. You know what? I don't need your sass. Okay. It's crooked. Oh well. Boop. All right, next up we have quinoa and couscous. We'll make some later this week. I, it's, I think couscous is a grain. It's a wheat grain. I don't know what it's made from. And quinoa, I believe a seed? I don't know, it's fibrous and it's good for you. Tastes good when you put garlic in it. People on the internet have me second guessing the expiry dates of all of my stuff. How do you spell couscous? Oh goodness, how do you spell quinoa? That would be the pinnacle of my kitchen. Things being spelled wrong and mislabeled. You can get in there and you can you can get over there. Ooh, do we think cornstarch is gonna fit in here? We're gonna try it anyway. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. This is fine. We don't need that much cornstarch. There we go. Look how nicely those stack in there. Doesn't that look nice? I can't really see from here. I did get the smaller ones for like baking soda, baking powder, not the big stuff. So this will fit nicely in here. Baking soda. Where's my baking powder? <gasps> baking powder. Baking powder has cornstarch, sodium bicarbonate, sodium aluminum sulfate, and monocalcium phosphate, while baking soda just has sodium bicarbonate. You use them in different instances when you're baking to make stuff rise differently. Woo! All right, cornstarch can go over here. All right, now we got the good stuff. Cocoa powder, which I'm almost out of. And all these are baking chips. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Coconut flakes. Get in there, get in there. Dried cranberries. I feel like that one could have gone in a smaller one, but it's okay. Um, that's it. Okay. Okay, I don't need salt up here. I have a different area for salt. You have a lot of salt. I do. Chocolate chips could go up here. Powdered sugar can go up here. Brown sugar, brown sugar, brown sugar. Baking powder, baking soda. I have a ton more almonds. Why do I have so many almonds? I wonder if my oats would fit in this tall boy. Uh, well, close, it was close. You know what? We eat a lot of oats. We can, we just leave it on the counter. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look nice on the counter. Now we need to reorganize all these cans and things because this is obnoxious. I have a lot of tomato sauce and pumpkin. Pumpkins for Daisy. Pumpkin butters for me. That looks so much better. Would you agree, Rachel? Yes. 
Oh, I have more artichokes I can move down here. We're just gonna ignore this side. This side doesn't exist right now. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. That side, we'll deal with it at a different time. Now I need to get all my liquid baking goods. How do you open? How do you open? That's how you open. Oh, you stack. Oh, those, okay. Here, aha! For snacks. Something's stuck down here. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get it. It's a cord. But it's stuck on the other side of the Lazy Susan. And I can't reach that far. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. I fell. I got it! Woo! All right, I'm done for the night. Oh, hey, I need to descale my thing. Perfect. I don't need a milk frother anymore. I have a fancy coffee machine and I don't need a coffee grinder anymore. Look at that. We're getting rid of stuff. We are getting rid of stuff. All those oils that I pulled out earlier can go down here. The extra cornstarch can go down here. The Crisco can go down here. Sauces get separated from oil. Rice vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I also just bought a gallon of vinegar. All of my cooking and baking stuff can go in this little tray. Right, I like it up. I'm gonna forget all of this exists down here. That's okay. Sesame seed soil, poison sauce, rice vinegar, poison sauce, sweet and sour, poison, I have two. Oh, this is open. Is this supposed to be in the fridge after, refrigerate after? Who did that? Not me. That was not me. No, it was a certain boy who doesn't believe in refrigeration or that things get bad after you open them. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Now I need a trash can. All right, bear with me for a second while I clean all this up. All right, time for the big reveal. Ta-da! Whoa! It looks so much better. This makes my brain happy. And now I'll actually eat things like quinoa and couscous that aren't buried in my cabinet. I have to be able to easily see things accessibly when I open the cabinets. And honestly, them being behind a cabinet sometimes is a big enough barrier, but this is gonna help me a lot. Eat all the food that's in here. Look at this one. That's so much cleaner too. It's not as clean as I would like, but it's better. It's definitely better. We're getting there. And this is more snacks anyway, which I really shouldn't be eating that many of. But this little thing right here is really handy. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these little guys. I thought that they would be big enough for some of the like little snack size things, but apparently I buy too big of snack containers. They'll be good for like going on a little picnic, take stuff with me, or some tea. I could put my loose leaf tea in here. That might work. I have four of these now. Don't know what I'm gonna do with. And I think I do need to get one more big, big guy for my sugar, for when I do a refill of sugar. But overall, I think that went splendidly. I saved like $150 off of what I was already gonna purchase. I got a bunch of extra little things, like this stuff that came in the kits and the scoops that came in the kits that I would have had to buy separately. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. If you want to get any of this, I have an affiliate link for Amazon down below where you can see all of my organization stuff there. And uh, I hope you liked my video. Thank you for being along for this journey because uh, I'm glad my boyfriend didn't see it. Bye everybody. Thank you for liking and subscribing.